What is up guys, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to my kitchen. Fun fact for you, in the United States, over 90% of Americans have a drink with caffeine in it every single day. That makes caffeine the most popular drug in the US. And amongst these users, there's one group in particular that I'm just disgusted by. And that, ladies and gentlemen, are the people that uh, drink Starbucks every day. Dad always said, never trust someone that has that much time to wait in a line, is willing to pay that much for a drink, and can justify sucking down that much fat and sugar with reckless abandon. So Today, we're gonna skip the line, save a little money, and actually make a drink that's doing something positive for our body. Y'all are gonna love this one. In today's video, we are making an anabolic Starbucks iced coffee. We cut way down on calories, way down on fat, way down on sugar, and we even squeeze in a little bit of protein. If you've been looking to save some time, save some money, and save your waistline, then I'm telling you, give this recipe a shot because it just might change your life. And as always, if you got that RJF anabolic cookbook, link in my description, it's been updated. This recipe's in there. Every other one of my super simple anabolic recipes is in there. Handy little guide right in your pocket, man. Quit making the worst choice going through the drive through ordering out. Make it yourself, man. Make it anabolic, make it lower in calories, make it delicious, and you can't lose. You get it one time, you get every future SBI I have for free. So if you guys are ready to get another epic video underway, then as always, man, I'm here to do it for you. Let's do it! Yeah! All right, all right, all right, man. This recipe is wicked simple. We only need about five ingredients, a couple minutes to whip it up. I'm gonna save you some time. I'm gonna save you some money. And for some of you, I might even save your reputation. Let's get started. So first, we're gonna start off with the coffee. What better way to have Starbucks at home than to have Starbucks at home? This is unsweetened iced coffee, blonde roast. You can get it at just about any grocery. You don't need to use this. You can use any coffee you want. It's all gonna be about the same calories. Just make sure it's unsweetened. We don't need to be adding that sugar, bud. We'll find other ways to make this delicious. Then instead of regular cow's milk, the milk that moves. We're gonna be using unsweetened almond milk. We need 65 grams, we're gonna save on calories, we're gonna save on fat, man. Putting our best foot forward around here. We're also gonna need 20 grams of sugar-free maple syrup. I'm using that Miss Buttersworth. Literally, if the sugar-free was covered up, you'd think it was just regular Miss Buttersworth syrup by how it tastes. It's that good, I'm telling you. Get 20 grams, you're gonna love it. We're also gonna need five grams of a zero-calorie sweetener. I like sucralose, I think it tastes the best. Zero calories, way better than regular sugar. It's gonna give you that sweetness, but not add to that dust. Dunlap. A Dunlap is when your belly gets so big it Dunlapped over your belt. We don't want that, bud. We don't want that one bit. And then finally, we need about 16 grams of a vanilla-based whey protein powder. I am using that Final Boss Cinnamon Toast Swirl. Hint of cinnamon, hint of sweetness. It's gonna work as our creamer in this coffee. At a base level, it's still just dairy. Once you blend it, ooh, it's gonna be delicious. Trust me. So all we're gonna do now is throw all of our ingredients in a blender. I'm gonna start with my iced coffee, zero calorie sweetener, unsweetened almond milk, protein powder, and sugar-free syrup. So all we gotta do now is blend this up on high for like 90 to 120 seconds. It's a quick blend, we don't got any ice, nothing in here needs to be broken up, it just needs to be blended together. Even a cheap blender will work for this. I just, ninja's all I got, so it's in a ninja. And I'm telling you, what happens when this blends? It's really magical. Let's go! <laughs> And after just a couple minutes, our blended iced coffee is done. You can even see how it's taken on that creamier color. So what I do now, get a cup, fill it with about 300 grams of ice or so. I want it to look pretty. I'm just gonna open the hatch and pour her in. Ooh, take a look at that. Perfection. And boom, we now have a delicious anabolic Starbucks iced coffee. It's thick, it's smooth, the flavor, delicious, but we cut drastically down on those calories and even added in a little bit of protein. And if you wanna really top it off, grab a little bit of fat free whipped cream, just put it right on top, boom. And boom, we now have our anabolic blended Starbucks iced coffee. And you can see here when you blend it, it foams and thickens it up. So as it settles, the bottom actually starts to change colors, gives it a cool two-tone effect. I don't know about y'all, but I came for the two-tone effect. If you made it this far into the video, guys, smash that thumbs up button for me, comment what you wanna see me make down below, and you already know what it is. I think it's time to pull up a chair, strap on the old feed bag, and try this thing together. You guys ready? Let's go. 
All right, man, I really need this caffeine right now. So I'm excited to actually drink this thing. And look what's happened to it, man. After letting it sit for a little bit, since we blended it, it foams up a tad, but it slowly turns back into coffee. My Starbucks drinkers will know what's happening here. It's that two-tone effect, I love it. And for anybody that wants to pick up a sub of the protein I used for this video, perfect for any of these anabolic recipes. Great flavor, a little sweetness, little cinnamon, little vanilla, it's good stuff. You can find it on finalbossformance.com. Use code RGF10 for 10% off. It's my protein of choice. All right, let's get in here, man. I need some caffeine, to be honest. So, this is gonna wake me up. Take a look at that, man. Got a big gulp right here, bud. You ready? Three, two, one, let go. Mm, 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 mm. This is why people love these Starbucks drinks, man. It's because they taste good. They don't even like them because they like coffee. They like them because it tastes like dessert. And on top of that, it's a dessert that wakes you up, gives you the caffeine, gives you that fuel, that boost you need for the rest of the day. And I ain't lying to you, man. This thing right here, if you try it and you gave it to somebody, for instance, and told them that, uh, I don't know, it wasn't a healthy Starbucks drink, but you just made a homemade Starbucks drink. They'd think you were handing them one of them 500 calorie suckers. It's sweet. It's got that little hint of syrup. You don't even taste whey protein. This tastes nothing like a protein shake. Can't even taste it 1%, I'm telling you. The fat-free whipped cream adds a little sweetness on the top as well, but the coffee really just stands alone. You don't need to add that. I just gotta get a good thumbnail. Unsweetened almond milk, I mean, you blend it, it's a game changer. Ooh, that is so good. If you've been on the channel for a while, you know I used to spend every morning going to get me a coffee. Back where I used to live, it was Tim Hortons. Not as good as Starbucks, it was closer and the lines weren't as egregious. But it's been a minute since I've indulged in coffee, but I'm telling you, man, this just might bring your boy back. I could've probably found a better cup, this is just one of my blizzard cups, that's all I have. So you know what, we'll use a blizzard cup, why not? Seriously though, 10 out of 10. I'd recommend this to anybody that regularly goes through Starbucks and gets a crazy drink. You're gonna save on calories, you're gonna add a little bit of protein, you're gonna get that caffeine you want without uh, any of the diet derailment, without setting yourself back, right? It's not giving up the foods we love, it's just making the better choices. So in this entire drink, also what we have left in here as well, that's included. What you end up with is, for the entire thing, only 93 calories, one gram of fat, 14 grams of protein, seven grams of carbs, zero grams of fiber. And that's including the calories that are actually in coffee. Coffee has calories, not many, but when I do these recipes, I mean, I'm adding everything up. You know exactly what you're putting in your body, so that way if you're eating something out of the cookbook, you know 100% that it's accurate. 14 grams of protein in a coffee, not bad. We could add more, you could always add more protein to this, but the goal here is to make it as authentic as possible in comparison to a Starbucks drink. I didn't want it to taste like a protein shake. I'm not out here just, we need more protein, throw it in if it affects the flavor in a negative way I don't think it's worth it so for me man this is perfect keeps it light you get a big drink only 93 calories you're not weighed down by a 500 calorie Starbucks drink you're getting that protein in we don't have any of the sugar minimal fat just a way better way to start your day man that's what I always say we're not giving up what we love I've had clients before that have signed up for my programs and they'll put on the questionnaire that they'll eat whatever I lay out for them but the one thing they can't give up is their Starbucks coffee in the morning and I always got to be like all right look look if you're not willing Willing to give up one thing, right? Not that we even have to give it up entirely. We can swap it around. But if there's that one thing that's holding you back, if Starbucks is the reason that you're not gonna be able to follow a diet or something that is a necessity that you will never be able to let go, then I'm really doubting uh, how you're gonna succeed at all. That's a terrible mindset. There's no, well, I, if, and, or, but. I don't even wanna hear none of that, bud. If you want it, you're gonna go get it, especially when there's alternatives out there. We don't have to give it up entirely or cut it out completely. We just gotta shift the odds in our favor a little bit. But if you're the type, you think that your day, your rising sun, your, the, your future depends on that one drink that you get every morning. Hate to break it to you, but I'm really doubting your long-term success. I really am. This is incredible. You gotta try it. You gotta make it. You gotta tag me on Instagram. Let me know what you think when you have it. Cause I promise you, man, it's uh, the closest you're gonna get to uh, one of them terrible Starbucks drinks without feeling terrible and doing terrible stuff to your body. It's close you're gonna get. You already know, our Jeff Anabolic Cookbook. If you got it, then this recipe is now in there. If you haven't updated it in a while, make sure you go grab your update, man. We're adding recipes all the time. You get it one time, you get every future recipe I have for free. So there's always a little project for you to do. Feeling bored? You got too much time on your hands? You've been endlessly scrolling social media, melting your brain? Stop it. Run to the store. Take the cookbook with you. Figure out the ingredients you need. Buy some things. Come on, make a meal for just you, for you and your family, you and your lady, you and your man. You can still eat good and wake up the next day better. That's all we're trying to do around here. Appreciate you guys, as always, for watching. If you enjoyed this video, smash thumbs up for me. Comment anything down below for the algorithm. The algorithm, it helps. Subscribe if you're not subscribed here. Until next time, ladies and gentlemen, I was each and every one of you at the next video. See you guys. Cheers. Mm. You gotta try this one for real. If you like coffee, you like Starbucks, you gotta give her a go.